Hey guys, iPhone SDK developer here. I want to do a tutorial on how to like update text every second. So like, uh, what I mean, every second is going to change label text. So what, like, what I'm going to be demonstrating is basically this. So. This is basically what we're going to be doing. So I've been escape Escape but subscribe now and you know you want to do So it updates every second, as you see. So because the timer is basically updating every second, and the add selector, which is what to do basically when it's updated every second. So in that code, we're going to put like, um, in the void statement, we're going to put the code to make a different text bit after it is like being pushed from a button so now it is going to be after every second so now we're going to go into Xcode create a new Xcode project we're going to select the view based application choose we're going to name this timer text so we're just going to change this to simulator simulator and expand this editor over here go to the view controller header and create an NS timer and just name this timer, which everyone calls it. Outlet UI label, um, the name is, um, I don't know, like text label. This build, save all. So now in the nip files, we can go to timer text view control dot zip, and that should bring us with an interface builder. So now we're going to just drag in one thing in our view, and this is our label. So let's expand our label over here, center it, and make it bigger. Alright, now just delete all the text in there, and go to the connections, new referencing outlet, to the file zone and hit text label. So now we're going to save and quit, and now we're going to do our code. So in the view did load method in the dot m, which is my file, and do timer. Develop iPhone is no longer available. Okay, thank you. Don't really care. Open the scroll brackets. NS timer. Schedule time with interval. Um, and update that every second. Target self selector at selector on timer, and this is going to be our void statement. We don't need that space for another. And then user info, nil, repeats, yes. Which I so on to. So now we're going to create our void statement. And we're just called on timer. Open the method. And just a few times over there. And we're going to paste in this code. So. It's 745. Okay. Static, int, which is like an int short for integer, and then i, which is what we have our integer named, is equal to zero. And then if the integer is equal to zero, which is the first time, it will show text iPhone SDK developer. So I'm going to change that, to, yep, and leave it. So I'm just going to name this phone box. I don't know something like that. Uh, YouTube. YouTube. Um, and then else if, which is like if it's been again integer, yeah, it's like no. you know the if statement and everything is equal to one this time, which is the next one. We're gonna change it to um, I don't know, uh, subscribe. You know you want to, and this time it's gonna be else, which is the last one now, and then text label dot text is equal to add quotes. Various information and no. And then the integer is equal to negative or minus one. Semicolon. And then uh, integer plus plus and semicolon. So yeah. 
I've explained a little bit of what happens up there. I'm not actually sure what this does, but yeah. It's build and go, I mean build and run, which is the version 9 says. As you can see, it succeeded. So now let's just watch this display text stuff for a second. So here we go YouTube, subscribe, variety of information. And so on and so on, it repeats that because it says somewhere over here integer is equal to negative 1, which repeats it. So yeah, you can use that any way you want. So thank you guys, I hope that was useful. Subscribe, rate, comment. Bye.